my camera turned kind of the wrong direction here, but I just wanted to talk to you for just a second. I am not driving the car here, so I don't have my phone in its holder. Uh, but I want to let you know, Chris and I are out and about today in Virginia, out for a very long drive. We haven't done this in a long time, and the leaves are not quite changing yet, and we plan on taking another ride up into Skyline Drive when the when the trees do change. But I thought I would bring you along. We're gonna be going through a couple of little Americana towns today. Uh, Chris had mentioned something about stopping at an orchard for some apple butter, uh, because he loves apple butter, and I don't dislike it myself. <laughs> so I just thought I would bring you guys along, and uh, we're gonna just look around Virginia today. And we are going up onto Skyline Drive, did I say that? Oh my goodness. We are going up onto Skyline Drive, so we'll take some scenic shots and maybe we'll get a couple of selfies when we're up there <laughs> at one of the overlooks or something. I don't know. Chris said he was up there on his motorcycle a week or so ago, so what in the world? We have a... Oh, that's trash in the middle of the road. Uh, so the leaves were not changing then, so we don't expect them to be changing quite yet here. But anyway, I'm just gonna bring you guys along. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of a different type of video, a little vlog style. And uh, we're gonna pretty much be on all, all back roads and then we're stopping in Warrington, Virginia on our way home. And we're gonna go to a little Chinese buffet restaurant, which we haven't been to in years and years and years. And uh, we're both, as you all know, always on it, uh, you know, cognizant of our eating and what we do. But we're going to splurge a little bit today, and we're going to have that because it's, you know, it's really good, and we haven't done it in a long, long, long time. And uh, we're going to stop there, and we're going to have that, and then we'll come back home this evening. So I'll bring you along little snippets video from now until we're finished. All right, all right, come along with us as we explore Virginia just to come right back uh, we are five miles from our house right now and uh, as you all know we live way out in the country and uh, this is the way our back roads look here in Virginia very lush very green right now and pretty although everybody's grass is not that green at this time of year because we really haven't gotten a ton of rain our rivers are down right now we're not in a drought or anything but uh, the rain we have gotten, we haven't really recovered from, you know, a, what, about a month, right, of no rain or more? Two months, Chris says. He was not happy because, you know, how he loves his grass, and I love his grass, too. And, uh, but anyway, it's just a uh, beautiful countryside here. We have a beautiful day. Look at the blue skies. So, uh, but this is what a lot of our drive is going to look like today. Chris has mapped it out. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to go on a little ride and and see the countryside of Virginia. I will say when Barbara and Dawn were over here, you know, I think I've said this before, but I'll say it for those who haven't heard it. When Chris and I went over to California to visit with them, we kept mentioning how beautiful the mountains were and how pretty everything was out where they live, out about two hours from LA. <clears throat> But then when they came here, they said, oh my gosh, everything's so lush and pretty and green over here. And the Blue Ridge Mountains, that's, in, you know, when you look at the Blue Ridge Mountains from a distance, they look blue, you guys. You know, you, you really understand why they are called the Blue Ridge Mountains. Uh, but everything is, is very pretty here in Virginia. We live in a beautiful state. But anyway, we're exploring the mountains today, but we also have lakes and rivers and beaches <laughs> here in Virginia. All right, I'll be back when we go through a little town. How about be back? Okie dokie, you guys. We are right now coming into Culpeper. You can see Culpeper, Virginia, C-U-L-P-E-P-E-R. And y'all know how I always talk about the Minute Man Mini Mall and show you things that I get from there you know, my milk glass and other goodies. Well, we're coming up on it right here, and it's in that warehouse, kind of right there, right there. There's the sign, and that's the Minuteman Mini Mall right there. We are not stopping there today. <laughs> I don't need anything right now, and uh, that's not our goal today. So we're gonna come out here, and I will come back in just a second when we get going 
through downtown Culpeper. It's a very cute little town, so I'll be right back. Well, here we are in downtown Culpeper, but it looks seems like there's a traffic issue <laughs> down here. We're not sure what's going on, but I wanted to show you this. There's a big florist here that's like a, a nursery almost. All the pumpkins and all of the, look at all that. Pretty cool, look like planters maybe. They have all kinds of nice little restaurants down here. And, uh, an old movie theater. This guy keeps, every time he puts his brakes on, his backup lights come on. Reverse lights. I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, but open mic Thursday, 8 p.m. And then they have a trivia Tuesday. That looks like fun. <laughs> uh, but this is like an old, you know, Americana town. Just like, you know, we have so many of these towns. Here, here's the old movie theater, Call Pepper 4, the creator, Saul Penn, oh my lord, Paw Patrol, and the Expendables 4. I've never been in there. I don't know. So here's the police. I have no idea what's happening. It looks like they had something happening, though. Don't know. But here you go. This is a pretty good look. Even excuse the truck with the wood in it. If he weren't here, we'd have a better look. But old cafe there you know just a quaint Pepperberry. little town oh pepperberries moved they sure did pepperberries yeah it used to be across the street over here and pepperberries is you can get like uh brighton jewelry Kristen would go in there and get my brighton jewelry i wonder if she knows it's moved across the street uh but she would come over here and get the we go to pepperberries for you know, christmas gifts all the time that guy was moving um, but anyway, it looks like they're having a CallPepperAirFest.com, Saturday, October 14th, whatever that is. <laughs> and of course, there's many churches, you know, Precious Blood Catholic Church there. And uh, there's always plenty of churches and funeral home, Arborists. <laughs> and we're going to go down this way and head... Do y'all have rounders in your area? All of a sudden in our area, people, they, they, we seem to have rounders popping up everywhere. It drives me crazy, but go down here and then I'll turn off for a little while. But it's like, what is with all the rounders? It looks like they just put this one in. Look at this, what are they doing? Is this where you're talking about that they've been working? Uh, we can't go around the rounder. Sorry, we've got to go literally around the rounder. Oh, yeah. We're going to go. We have a detour. All right. <laughs> Had to take a detour around the rounder. It looks like they're working on it. So, following the detour. And, uh, oh, no. Here we go. Here's a rounder. Old Rickiesville Road. Colonial Jamison Boulevard or Colonial Jamison Boulevard on the other way. We're going straight, right? Going around and continuing on straight. Here we go. No, we're not. We're going on around. There we go. Okay, I'll be back when I have something interesting to show you. We are coming into the little town of Woodville, Virginia. And farm fresh fruits and vegetables turn left. Is that what you're looking for? On 621? That's it. And this is where we're going. We're going to take a left up here onto 621. It's called Yancey Road. Uh, Yancey Road, Chris thinks. And this is a nice little, sweet little town. And uh, we're going to stop at this place up here and see what's what. Next left, apples and pears, jink and orchard. Pumpkins, tomatoes. road construction. It's road construction everywhere, I'm telling you. You can pick apples, too, if you want. We're not going to pick any. We'll pick up a bushel, maybe. <laughs> or, we'll see. We'll see. Yep. Here we go. And it is Yancey Road. Oh. We were there. 
there. Sorry. I saw a big sign. Okie dokie. We are parked going uphill. You should have seen me getting my hauling my rear up out of that car. <laughs> it's not a pretty sight. Anyway, here we go. Some apples. Lots of apples. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. Fuji. Got pears. Oh, I love these and pears. Mm -mm -mm. Five dollars for a small basket. Tomatoes. Got some sweet potatoes. Everything I need. Oh my goodness! And then looks like they got peach. Peach butter. Apple butter. That's one thing Chris came from for is some apple butter. He wanted apple butter. Cherry butter. Mm. Pumpkin butter. Mm. Oh my goodness, you guys. Cranberry orange marmalade. Strawberry cranberry preserves. Sweet orange marmalade. Yum, yum, yum. And they have cider, they have cherry cider and peach cider. Cute little place, huh? Red currant jelly, grape jelly. Damn some plum. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Elderberry jelly. It's probably good for you. Elderberries are good for you. Chow chow. Relish. Hot pepper relish. Get oh. looky looky. Get out the back door here. How pretty, huh? Not sure what Chris is picking up here, but I'm gonna end up and get some apples. Hi, how are you? We'll make us some cobbler, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Granny Smith over there. Okay. These pumpkins over here. These are some cool looking pumpkins. Look at these. Wow. Chris already bought pumpkins for map to car, but look at that thing. Man, that cool. Wow. Neat. The pretty mums. Alrighty, you guys. I think you filled her up. Maybe one more. Can we get some pears? Yeah, where are they? Right pear? over there. I want a little basket of pears. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five dollars. Okay. Let's see. 
see. These look good. You want some? Yeah, it's they cut all kinds of all kinds of butters on the back wall there. Alrighty, you guys, we ended up getting a bushel of apples of a mixed variety, and we got that little container of pears and a couple of jars of uh, apple butter and a big old white onion. And that's what we got. So now we're going to head on on our adventure. So pretty out here. We just left the orchard and I am telling you there are some beautiful homes. Of course now we're not going to see them. We just passed them. But beautiful homes. It's like an almost like a community back here. I, you know, I wonder, you just have to wonder, you know, when you go through here, is it all family? And they just all kind of, you know, built their homes close to one another, which I think is really cool, you know. But look at this. So pretty. All right, here we are coming out. We're going to go to the left toward Luray Caverns and Shenandoah National Park. The mountains over there. So pretty. Sperryville. It's right, right here is Sperryville, isn't it? Just a little bit. Welcome to Sperryville. There we are. starting to change up here. Look, it's starting to look pretty. It'll be prettier in a couple of weeks. Maybe we'll make another trip up here. Park very well. Thank you. You too. Here we go. We're going south. And yeah, first stop is the bathroom. Because <laughs> our Leanne has to go. And then we'll be back. Uh, some overlooks and we're going to stop and take some selfies. But uh, you just come right out here in the bathrooms, for those that might come up here, or right here to the right. Right over there. signs to protect yourself from bears though so bears are definitely around uh, we're just 
just kind of enjoying the scenery, you guys. It's just so pretty. Look at these trees. Look how pretty. And things are definitely changing up here. Oh, look. So pretty. this fern. Oh my goodness, I did not realize that fern changed colors. <laughs> I don't know where I've been all my life, but look at this. It's beautiful. We're coming up here on another overlook, too. We're obviously... Okay, here we go. Get out here and take a look and see what's what. overpasses and I neglected to look to see what the name of the overpass was but I thought I would show you it's so pretty so 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 pretty I do have some low-lying clouds now but look at the way the Sun touches down there oh, so pretty and I was just talking to a couple of hikers Chris was taking my picture and uh, there are a couple of hikers up in there and they were like that's a good picture they were so sweet <laughs> i said are you guys they were standing right up on top of that rock i said are you guys gonna come down here he said well eventually i said don't try to come that way <laughs> but how pretty huh all right back in the car heading over to that handsome devil right there <laughs> mentioning about how the wall was looking a little bit decrepit in places. It's good to see them working on it. Coming out this side, we just had a park ranger go by with lights and sirens on. We're hoping everything is okay and nobody got like attacked by a bear or is having a health issue or had a wreck or something. I don't know. I don't know where he went. But anyway working our way down the mountain now and uh, we're headed toward Front Royal, Virginia. So I will come back when we're exiting the park and then when we are coming into Front Royal. Look how pretty it is definitely changing colors up here. Sorry for the reflection on the windshield there. But, uh, trees are looking beautiful up here. Although in a week it's going to look even prettier. You think it looks pretty now? Wait till you see in a week or two. It's just, it gets beautiful. Just out our own back door, it'll be gorgeous. All right, I'll be back. We are exiting Skyline Drive. Right now, I'm gonna head over to Front Royal and then down to Warrington, which is where we will eat. So, if there's anything to show you in Front Royal, I'll show you, but, um, yeah, we're not going through the town, so we're just uh, getting kind of hungry. We haven't had anything to eat, so we're going to head on to Warrington, I think, which is, what, about an hour now? An hour away. Like that? Yeah. stop another orchard so if we do that I'll bring you that if not I might take a couple pictures at the restaurant and uh, then I'll make a video out of this for you guys you guys have mentioned how you love when we take our drives and that kind of thing and 
the best time for us to take our drives, of course, in the fall with the leaves changing. But you can tell just at this lower elevation, the leaves are not near as pretty as they were up, up, up leaving Shenandoah National Park. Up at higher elevations. And uh, the best time for us to do it is now between, between decorating series here. Uh -huh. Thank you. 